12th, the Vargas Entrada continues, day 12, July 11th, Sunday, 1694, Sunday, 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 the same people repeat, with said governor and captain general, the same trip and hunt of the said buffalo, the so-called buffalo, the Ganado Cibola, and because they had disturbed them being run off the day before, only the only result was the killing of a few head. On the eleventh day of the present month of July, <laughs> July eleventh. Why can't you just say July? Okay. On the eleventh day of the present month of July, of the date in the year. <laughs> So many words, which mean nothing. Having recognized the need of the camp to give some rest to the horses and mules because of the load and long journeys they have made and to give the people the relief they can get by going today to see if any stray buffalo, Punta de Ganado, took refuge in the nooks and groves, Los and Cones, E.R. Boledas, of the river whose course moves snake-like to Libretto. And I gave permission to go on this hunt, and therefore, along with me, the said governor and captain general, along nearly a hundred men, mounted their horses with the servants. Some had with them equipped with their animals to load the cattle they might kill, and in order I might do likewise for those in general who were not equipped for this, I ordered the mule tears to make ready about 20 mules to go with them, and by 2 in the afternoon of this day, only 7 or 8 cattle, Reese's, and a few deer could be obtained because of the stampede and flight that happened yesterday. So this business, and that we continue to smoke signals for the Utahs to make them go out to search for those who are making them, and who are the people to be found in their country, may be of record. I signed with him, my Secretary of Government and War, Don Diego de Vargas Zapata Luxon Ponce de Leon, before me Alfonso Real de Aguilar, Secretary of Government and War, of Government and War, Alfonso Real de Aguilar, that motherfucker, he went ahead and took the land of the Cayamuga, the Calabunga Pueblos, goddamn motherfucker, who the fuck is this Alfonso Real de Aguilar, and they're supposed to believe that Don Diego de Vargas went ahead and let the Juan Don de Ye, Don Juan de Ye, oh girl, let Don Juan de Ye speak on behalf of the Spaniards, with Pich uh, Chief Pacheco of the Towers Pueblo, he's going to sit there and let them speak on behalf of the Spanish, but he's going to take his mule, and he's going to take his gun, and his shield, and his cloak, and his something else. Jesus Christ took every fucking thing away from him, everything he had. That was, you know, of the Spanish. Yeah, I'm sure he really fucking defended the Spanish after that, you know. He was, like, pretty forceful for a second, and who knows, we're, you know, we're told that he was either killed or tortured or some shit. But, uh, I don't think Don Diego de Vargas gave a shit what the fuck happened to him. Maybe that was a sacrificial lamb. Maybe Don Juan de Ye was just like, you know what, fuck these Spanish sons of bitches. You know, I'm a Talos Pueblo, you know, I'm a fucking Pecos Pueblo, and he was the chief of the Pecos Pueblo, and here he was, you know, fucking with the Talos Pueblo, and you know what, we're allies, right? Talos Pueblo, Pecos Pueblo, Cayamungue Pueblo, all the Pueblos, we need to unite, and we need to overthrow the fucking Spanish conquistador sons of bitches, these are oppressor motherfuckers. Sunday, July 11th, 1694.